Today we will see Q data structure. Q is an abstract data type. It is collection of entities that are maintained in a sequence. Addition of entities from the one end of the sequence. The end we used to add elements is called as rare tail or also called as back. And the stack will remove the entities from the other end of the sequence. The end we used to remove the elements is called as head or front. This new elements will be added at rare or back of the queue. Deletion of elements from the sequence will be done at the front. You can imagine it like vehicles waiting at toll gate. New vehicles will be added to queue at the back of the queue. Vehicles which are at front will be removed from the queue. The operation of adding an element to the rear of the queue is known as NQ and the operation of removing an element from the front is known as DQ. The first element added to queue will be removed first. The operations this NQ and DQ make queue as first in first out data structure. Queue can be used at many applications. Some of them are interrupt handler in operating system prioritize the interrupts and saves them in queue if more than one is waiting to be handled. Queues are used as buffers in applications like media players. Queues are used in the implementation of BFS, breadth for search. Queues are also used as waiting lists for single shared resources like printer, CPU and disk. Queues can be easily implemented either through an array or linked list. In either of these implementations, we need to implement the NQ and DQ. Let's see queue implementation with array. An array can be used to implement bounded queue. Bounded queue means queue is limited to fixed number of items. The program must keep track of most recently added item of the queue variable rare that keeps track of most recently added item. And also program must keep track of least recently added item of the queue variable front is used to keep track of the least recently added item. While implementing queue, we need to implement two methods NQ and DQ. NQ operation is used to add elements at the rear of the queue. NQ function will have one parameter because we need to pass the item which should be added to the queue. DQ operation will remove the least recently added item. This DQ function does not require parameter because it will simply remove the least recently added item from the queue. Here I am taking one array named it as queue which will hold the elements of the queue. With array we can implement bounded queue. Here I am taking the array size of just 10 and array is a variable which will hold the index of the most recently added item. Initially both front and rear will be minus 1 which indicates queue is empty means nothing is there within this queue. If we want to add one element to queue we will use this nq function. nq function has one parameter. First we need to increment both this front and rear. Previously they were at minus 1. After increment they will be at index 0. So if front equal to minus 1 and rear equal to minus 1 we need to increment this front and rear. Then add the element in Q at the rare index. Here we passed argument 5. It will be added to Q at rare index state 0. So add this statement also. We will add this element E to the Q at rare. For the next NQ operation, rare will be incremented to 1. Then add this element 6 at the rare index 1. This else condition is used when your queue is not empty. In that case, we will only increment the rare. After increment, we will add the element to the queue at index rare. Let's assume we perform one more NQ operation. These are the queue contents. After these three NQ operations, now rare is at index 2. Suppose if we perform these 10 NQ operations then there would be at index 9 and we want to perform one more NQ operation but see here Q is already full before inserting an element we need to increment rare if we increment rare it will be 10 there is no index 10 in our array because array size is 10 if we try to access index 10 in our array we will get error so we need to avoid that to avoid this we will write this if condition 
if greater greater than or equal to max minus 1 here max is rsi is 10 so we should not perform this and queue operation we should raise error queue is full so we should implement NQ operation like this before incrementing rare and adding item at the index of rare we should check for the overflow condition overflow will occur when we try to add an element to already full queue if we want to get remove one element from queue we will use dq operation if queue is not empty then dq operation should return least recently added item means here 3 is most recently added item and 5 is least recently added item least recently added item will be maintained by variable front so dq operation should return element at the index front your front will be returned then we need to increment this front because this 5 is removed so least recent item now is 6 so front will be at index 1 then return this element at previous front previous front means 0 that is stored in variable x that x will be returned here suppose if you want to remove one more item from the queue the same process will be followed after removing this 6 now rank will be at index 2 suppose if you perform this 10 dq operations for this 10th dq operation it will return element 3 q will be empty now after that front will be 10 suppose if you perform one more dq operation on empty q q underflow will happen how can we identify q emptiness one is if friend greater than rare index like this here friend is 10 and rare is 9 this will occur when we have some contents within the queue that all the contents are deleted from the queue then you will get this kind of situation so this is the first condition for the underflow and another situation is no elements are added to q yet in this case friend will be minus 1 so add this second underflow condition also friend equal to minus 1 here double equal dq increments the friend index after checking for underflow condition and returns the item that was previously the friend one means before incrementing this friend whatever the element is at friend that will be returned this is complete program for queue implementation with array we took array of size 10 initially front and rear would be at minus 1 means q is empty this is nq function it has one parameter nq function checks for overflow condition if q is not full nq increments the rare index when q is not empty suppose if q is empty front and rear will be set to 0 then adds this element e to the q at the rare index see here this function is not returning anything so function return type is void this is dq function it returns element at front after checking for underflow condition here this is the post increment this display function will print the contents of the queue we need to check whether queue is empty or not if queue is not empty to print the contents of the queue we should start from the index front and we need to go up to rare print all the elements within all those indices if we execute this program here we performed three NQ operations with elements 5, 6 and 7. So our stack contents are 5, 6 and 7. And we performed one DQ operation which will remove the element at front index. Here 5 is at front so 5 is removed from the queue. And we performed one more NQ operation with element 8. So now stack contents are 6, 7 and 8.